it's absolutely fascinating to work with lasers that are shining on materials. First of all, it can be used for storage of an incredible number of data. But the lasers can also modify the materials. And about 20 years ago, there was a kind of revolution in uh, lasers. And suddenly we had a new generation of very reliable lasers. And from that point, the interaction between laser beams and materials started. And the direction is that we can produce films, same films of almost any same on anything. So we can design films of new materials just by shining a laser on a material and then we collect the ejected material on a suitable substrate. It means that we can make thin layers on top of something with completely different properties and change the overall view of the, of the material. So we can design completely different things from what we imagine and in the future we can make thin films of organic materials for nanomedicine, we can, we can make patterns for nanoengineering, we can make organic films which are covered by inorganic layers so we have new, completely new unpredictable material provinces in these sandwiches. And one very interesting thing is that we can even cut off the electronic properties by taking very thin slices of the material such that the electronic structure is not fully developed and then we combine different magnetic and electric properties and the material will be completely new and will have new properties that nobody was thinking of 